They're said to be among the deadliest fish in the world, packing a potent venom in their spiny dorsal fins that's strong enough to kill a human. And the stonefish family has just gotten even scarier. Researchers have discovered that some species of stonefish are equipped with switch blades in their face, adding yet another nightmarish tactic to their already impressive defenses. The switchblade mechanism, known formally a lacrimal saber, is located just below the eye, with one on each cheek. In a new study led by researchers from the University of Kansas, the team determined that this feature is unique to stonefishes. The genetic analysis of 113 morphological and 5,280 molecular characters across 63 species could rewrite the creature's family tree, indicating that those which possess the mechanism are closely related. I don't know why this hasn't been discovered before, said William Leo Smith, associate curator at the KU Biodiversity Institute and Natural History Museum and KU associate professor of ecology and evolutionary biology. It's probably because there are just one or two people that ever worked on this group. We took five or six families and were able to resolve the problems in their classifications. To have this really strong anatomical feature visible from the outside is really helpful. To have a big map of how everything is related, and evidence for it is what we're all hoping for. We have this feature and get into the genetics of how it could have evolved. Stonefish are already known to have an impressive set of defensive techniques. According to the researcher, the creatures are super camouflaged, often mimicking leaves floating in the water. And, the venoms in their dorsal fin spikes are among the most powerful in the world. This study, which came 15 years in the making, shows that a large number of muscles and ligaments are involved in the deployment of the stonefish's switchblade, with modifications to several bones and muscles. Smith first noted the intricate system, after dissecting a stonefish that had been his own pet. The outermost bone has a little peg, or a bump, or is heavily grooved, Smith said. It is called a lacrimal and forms the bony ring around the fish's eye, and the underlying bone looks like it has a roly-poly bug on it and is called the maxilla, part of the upper jaw, in most land vertebrates the maxilla would be toothed. This roly-poly piece of the switchblade is the first thing I saw when I started dissecting, and recognized this mechanism. These two roly-poly things sit on top of each other and can ratchet at different levels. It can lock out all the way or can lock out at different places. According to the researchers, the mechanisms seen in the switchblade-equipped fish are unusually extensive compared to species outside of the family. This suggests the features are distinctly tied to its previously unknown defensive strategy. There can't be any other reason for those muscles and ligaments except to control this mechanism, Smith said. This whole group of fishes is called the male cheek fishes, or scorpioniforms, where the bones under the eye attach to the gill skeleton. Because all these muscles are attached to the gill skeleton, it allows for all this force which causes the lacrimal saber to deploy, 